Thanks, Mel. Okay, well, with most of us working from home, we're now cooking three meals a day, yeah? So mm -hmm. why not get the kids involved? Cooking with kids is worth the time and mess and, yes, even the odd in edible dish. <laughs> Chef Julian Panzer of the Chef Upstairs Cooking School joins us this morning with his lovely daughter, Remy, to give us some tips on getting your kids cooking. Good morning, Chef. Good morning, Remy. Hi. You say good morning? A wave is good we'll just wave. How we'll take the wave. old is sweet Remy? This is Remy. How old is she? Remy is two years old. She's wow. so cute. Okay, so if you could do it with a two-year-old, we can all do this at home. What are some tips, Chef? Um, well, we teach uh, kids, teens, adults cooking classes at our studio, The Chef Upstairs, and it's all about empowering, trusting, and uh, taking chances with your kid. Uh, they're going to learn everything by doing it the first time, right? Right. And, uh, don't mind the mess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to be patient about, have some patience about that and that mess that might happen because it's, it's, it's inevitable, right? But you do see, they can learn math skills because you're measuring things. For example, what do you have there today? I could see Sweet Remy is ready to make this recipe. What are we going to make? <laughs> what are we making today, Remy? Pancakes. Pancakes. Oh, We're yeah. Yum. And chocolate chip pancakes. Yum, Should we get yum. started? Yes, please. Let's do it. All right, Remy, start mashing the bananas for me, please. So, <laughs> got a couple overripe bananas here, and I have everything pre-measured. You can measure this out uh, with your little one or your older one. Do you want me to help you with this? Almost done. Okay. And, I mean, cracking eggs, I think they're never too young to start, and this is like a really I cool like way to... Eggs. There you oh, go. She'd like oh, she to crack yes. the egg. That's oh. a good sous chef. So, she makes the dimple for me. Nice. And oh. Open it up. It's amazing. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> At two yeah. years old, Remy's better at cracking eggs than I am at this age right now. So, be so hard on yourself, Devo. <laughs> but this is how you do it. So she cra she puts the little uh, break in mm -hmm. it, and then he puts the yolk in. Papa does. Teamwork. There you go. Yeah, we make the little dimple, and then I crack the egg, and get it in there. And now we start putting the other ingredients in. So we have baking powder. Can you put these in for me, please? Oh yeah, don't forget that. Yeah. Whole thing in. There you go. Oh, nice. good job. Got it all in there. This is going to make our pancakes nice and fluffy. Now, I have two secret ingredients. This is going to make it really healthy and it gives it no flavor. Of course, you can do it. No flavor <laughs> and super nutritious. So, we've got hemp hearts Yum. and yeah. black seed going in. Now, these are high in omega 3, omega 6, fiber, protein, lots of energy. And uh, and lots of immune builders. So what was the second thing? The first thing was uh, hemp hearts. What was the second thing, Chef? It broke up a bit. Flax seeds. Flax, Flax seeds. seeds. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Ground. Yeah. We oh, got chocolate chips in there. Chocolate yeah. chips. You can have one chocolate. Yes, yeah, so you got to taste it. Make oh, sure yeah. they're okay. Make yeah. sure it's fresh. Make sure, yeah. Make sure they haven't gone bad. It's perfect. This is just for the family, so fingers are okay. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before we cook, maple syrup to sweeten it up. Go ahead, Rem. Yeah, pour the whole thing in, nice and sweet. Okay, and one pinch of salt, please. Now I'm going to do the vanilla extract because a little too much <laughs> can ruin the recipe. Also, this is the real stuff, so it's expensive. Mm -hmm. All right, when you start mixing this up. I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, start mix, mix, mixing. Okay, thank you. So we have milk. And we're going to be adding oats, rolled oats. These are guaranteed gluten-free, so the whole recipe is gluten-free. Let's pour it all in, Rem, and stir Yum. The final ingredient for uh, flavor and texture, we've got melted butter. Nice. There we go. This is gourmet. This Fiber, is a gourmet nutritious. pancakes, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so super healthy, <laughs> lots of fun to make. Uh, my kids have been eating these for the last uh, couple weeks here. And getting all the uh, all the nutrition we need. They're that even good cold. Those are good yeah. cold. The next day. Uh, yeah. So here is what they're gonna look like. You're going. Do you, you want to try one? Oh, a little taste tester. Get one right. She likes the whipped cream on the side too. There it is. Now, chef, I love that you say this is a great way. When the kids make it with parents, they're more inclined to eat it and try it because they were involved, right? What are some things maybe parents are doing? wrong when it comes to cooking with kids in the kitchen that they should perhaps try and implement mm -hmm. new ways to get them involved i think a lot of picky eating habits stems from a fear of the unknown 
And when they're a part of the creative process and they're excited about making the food, then they're a lot more inclined to try it out. I've seen that. I've been teaching kids how to cook for years and I have been crushing picky eating habits for years. <laughs> yeah, you are. I mean, look at little Remy. Yeah. She's like, you know what? These are good. We did a good job, Dad. We just got a tweet coming in, actually, Chris, uh, from Chris Lance, rather. And it says, a family potluck is how we get the kids involved with cooking. Each person is responsible for a different part of the meal. An app, a side, a main, a dessert. We try and do this once a month. So set realistic goals because mm -hmm. it's too hard to try and do it all the time. But it's these little increments to get them used to it. And then it's family bonding time, too. Absolutely. Uh, look, the kitchen is the heart of the home. And I think you can make a, a lot of important changes and teach a lot of important lessons uh, in the kitchen. And uh, actually, uh, that's exactly what we're doing now. All of our services, all of our cooking classes have switched to virtual. So you can bring this whole experience and us teaching how to cook right in the comfort and safety of your own home now. Which is so cool. What would you suggest to parents? You know the teenagers are that, 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 that I'm too cool kind of age and on their devices and things like that. How would you suggest parents get them involved? Yeah. Well, I mean, start with picking food that they can connect with. Like if your teenager's obsessed with bacon, why don't you make a bacon focused meal? And you know, be it, it might not be the healthiest meal, but I'm it's a start. Gonna, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Well, the chocolate chip are in here. How <laughs> good, and Remy? Are you liking those pancakes? Are they delicious? Are they delicious, Remy? Remy, are you liking the pancakes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love her. Kids tell the truth too. Yeah. So, chef, once you're done mixing that up, you're, are you cooking it like a regular pancake on on like the skillet for a couple of minutes? Are you using what kind of oil? So um, I use a skillet, uh, just like any ordinary pancake, about medium to high heat. Uh, because of the rolled oats, I like the batter to sit for about five I to ten minutes. Uh, oh, wash your hands. Good. <laughs> Twenty seconds. Now, cook them about two to three minutes on either side, uh, nice and golden brown. Now these are not flour-based pancakes, so they're going to look a little different, a little bit darker, but uh, they're still absolutely delicious. Okay. And actually, this recipe you can find on our website, thechefupstairs.com. Amazing. Nice. Yeah, well, that's what we're just going to ask you, where we can find out more information. That's perfect. <laughs> Chef Julian, thank you so much. Remy, thank you. Great job, little Remy. Save. Great little helper with that. Aw, oh, high five it out. All right, Way thanks. Go. <laughs> Make sure you check it out. Chefupstairs.com, everybody. We'll be back with more BT. We're going to leave it on their sweet faces.